intersection to the right of us about 10 yards, an intersection at the front of us about 10 yards, and then we got the major trail coming out of the bedding to the left of me. So let's see how we do. We got pretty good odds tonight. We got right here and on the bedding. So we're hoping that buck that left the red rub line comes through.
Well, that's gonna end this hunt. That drop time buck didn't come in, so we've seen a smaller eight point. He has a split brow time to start it, so it's gonna be a really cool deer next year. And then we had, yeah, that one split brow time buck that was smaller. And then we had six does. So, we've seen a lot of deer. But that's a new strip of trees we're trying. It's in between two bedding areas. So, seen a good amount of deer, I'd say. Especially for 80 degrees. So, yep, overall, cool hunt. That doe and their fawns, they were under us for about 45 minutes, so I was set still pretty much the whole time. So, we'll catch you on the next hunt. Stay tuned. We're back here in the tree stand again tonight. Tonight we're on to my river bottom with our creek to my left. So, I'm sitting like right on the peninsula. To my right, they like to cross the creek and go up this hill to the oaks to eat. And then there's a field beyond the oaks that they also go to. And then there's the creek. They bend down the edge of this creek and then there's the thing behind me. And then right in front of me, there's a, a bed for a bucket. Last year, we had a 17 point non typical in this bed, so. Well, that's gonna wrap up that hunt. We've seen that doe and the two fawns. So, nice to see at least something, but someone went in there and put that stand in there that when dad set up or prepped that tree and put a stand in it, so. They must have pushed that buck out of his bedding earlier in the year when he set that stand up, so. That's a bummer. That deer was, it was a typical 12 point. Perfectly six by six symmetrical, really tall G2s. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace.